How's it going guys? I'm here to give a review on the Osprey Tempest 40 bag. This is the extra small, uh, which makes it actually a 38 liter rather than a 40 liter. Um, yeah, I just recently got this. I'm planning on going on um, some overseas travel. The reason I got the extra small was that I could fit into it and then also that it fit more of the dimensions of being able to become a carry-on rather than something that I would have to check. Um, I wanted something that had enough room for tent, sleeping pad, um, all my clothes, some electronics, and yeah, basically just all my needs as far as being overseas and traveling for an extended period of time. I really liked look, the look of this bag online. I checked it out on uh, their website which is probably where I would recommend to do any um, specs checking of any backpacks would be to go to the brand's website because I've found that on Amazon or any outfitters websites they just don't have the correct uh, specifications. I got this through REI. It's about I think $160 and the things that I really do like about it or what drew me to the bag were um, I really like the can kangaroo pouch in the front, this mesh pouch. Um, I've already done some extended backpacking and this is kind of like a must for me because I'm not the most organized person in the world and when I have like maybe a jacket or a raincoat that I don't want to open up my entire pack to put back in here and make it super organized, I just like to shove it into here and it's nice to um, say you have snacks or something that you want to just get too fast. This is a must for me. Another thing that kind of drew me to the pack was this is what they call a brain on a backpack and I like having a rather larger brain. It's just pretty pretty large and I like that you can fit you know a good portion of stuff in here. Um, one thing that I thought was kind of different about the design on this one, um, which I do like that it's somewhat detachable or just flexible. I don't know that you can fully remove it because this is the weird part. It kind of has this uh, strap system that goes from, um, they I don't know, they got kind of funky with the straps on this backpack, to be honest. It's got this one that connects to this. It kind of runs down through these two loops and then back up through this notch and that can kind of cinch it down, which I do enjoy that it keeps it pretty sturdy, but I just think that there's kind of unnecessary loopage. One thing that I have come to realize after having received it was that these straps are, um, I think, a little bit too simple for me and not as comfortable as I was hoping. So just putting it on, putting you know a lot of gear in it, and testing it out and feeling it out, um, these are pretty thin. And as far as Osprey packs go, they've come a long ways with how amazing and cushioned and padded their straps are. Um, the pack that I hiked with through um, a year and a half, it was like my home, it was the Osprey Aura 65, and that one's straps, in comparison, were amazing. Um, these ones, I just, I, I don't know if I can get behind a bag that's gonna actually hurt my shoulders because I've gotten spoiled. Um, so yeah, this is the back of it, which is pretty decent. I think, I think as far as you know, back's concerned, you do get a lot of airflow in here, but in again. It's a slight disappointment compared to where Osprey is now with their backs, especially I think with the anti-gravity backs that they're coming up, coming out with right now. Uh, this just, you know, I don't know that you can get as much airflow as, you know, the other packs do because they're almost, you know, off of your back. Um, it does have the adjustable shoulder straps where you can get in here and adjust it to size. 
which is nice. It does have this um, the external uh, bladder right here, which I do enjoy. Um, probably better than having it on the inside. For me, I don't know if it's completely 100% necessary because I'm not even sure I'm going to be taking my bladder on my travels. So um, something, again, I'm just going to kind of weigh out. So these are a, uh, a side mesh pocket and they have some blue straps here that go either on the outside or you can realign them on the inside. Um, sometimes I think they're just a little bit overkill. Um, these, this one in particular goes zigzag across this pocket, but then also attaches to the, um, the hip belt and this, um, side pocket. So I don't know if cinching this up a lot is gonna just like, I don't know. It's just, for me, I'm not sure the reason why it's there. If you know, leave a comment. This right here for like ice pick and another cord right here that you can tie it down. So these straps right here are load stabilizer straps and they help you balance um, how much of a load that you're taking on your upper back. So those are really helpful. I think most backpacks come with them. As far as the hip belt, it looks pretty nice. Looks like it's got some airflow to it. Even these pockets right here um, are like half mesh, which is kind of nice. Another thing that I was kind of disappointed in was the quality or the sturdiness of these straps and the buckle. And so this buckle um, I'm not super stoked on the design or uh, the quality. It just seems kind of uh, slightly flimsy. So, and they didn't give you a whole lot of <laughs> to work with here. I know it's the extra small and I mean that's kind of what it comes with, but say you're having a heavy day and you, you know, need a little bit more room for this, like it's not that big so I, I enjoy that there aren't super long straps because on my last one they were really long but um, yeah just give at least a little bit more oh and it's got this sternum strap and the sternum strap is adjustable as well so that's nice to have one of these that can adjust easily um, this little pocket I was somewhat excited for but I don't know what more than like your two fingers you can fit in here. I was hoping that it might be able to fit like my iPod, but I have come to find out that that will not happen. It's just way too small. So that's kind of a disappointment. Yeah, I think that's the still on the go trekking poles. And so you can store them right here and here, which is really nice when you're hiking and you just don't want to use them or you have to kind of like scramble up some rocks. So there's just the two entrances, the bottom and the top. Um, I do like this kind of compression cinch on the top, which if your bag's pretty full and you want to just cinch it down, that's pretty nice. Um, it does open really wide, which I like. And so you can just get in there and it's pretty nice that if you don't have a side entry, then you've got a nice big open uh, entrance to the top of your bag. Um, yeah, so then there's the the bottom entrance here and I don't know, I might just not have read it, but um, I was hoping for kind of like separation down here for my sleeping bag, but there isn't any separation. Um, so, I mean, if you're taking out your bag, um, some other stuff might fall out with it, but so, I don't know. I just like the divider here. Uh, these clips are for, you know, sleeping mat or yoga mat or whatever you want to keep on here. All around, I feel like this is a pretty, pretty awesome bag. But the only thing is, is that for, I think, long distance traveling, it just doesn't, doesn't have some of the, um, some of the features that I like in a bag. I would maybe recommend it for, like, some, uh maybe week-long backpacking hikes or, 
If you're more into the kind of mi minimalistic style, I would say it'd be really good. I think I'm possibly just gonna look for a another bag and find something that fits my needs because it's gonna be home for a while. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanted to ask any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer. Um, yeah, I hope this, guy, this video helped you guys out. Yeah. All right, thanks guys.